Here is my hobbled together 2x72 belt grinder. And I used this initially to make a couple of knives I've been wanting, but I, I couldn't afford the knives, so I figured I would try and make them. Turned out pretty well. I have no real complaints about it. Uh, it's certainly not a commercial system, but it seems to work. The top tracking arm, uh, it's actually it's just a, on a gate hinge and I a single bolt. I drilled a hole and I tapped it. I'm putting the bolt through the hole, tighten it up to raise it, loosen it to lower it. Now because these are just flat tubes, I couldn't keep the tracking, I couldn't keep the belt on the tracking arm because you have to have it, you have to have the center a little bit higher for some reason. I actually twisted some electrical tape into a string and I taped it around the center and then I just went over the whole thing again with another layer of electrical tape. So it gave it just a little bit of a ridge in the center and that seems to help a lot with keeping the belt on the tracking arm. The drive wheel is just some particle board. I just cut out four circles, glued them together, uh, drilled the center hole, and then I flattened it out on my lathe. And I, for some reason, it wouldn't stay on the belt very well, so I, I put a ridge of hot belt glue all the way around the outside. And that just seemed to help because sometimes when you're adjusting the tracking arm, if you're not quick enough, it'll just fall right off and you have to go through the whole process again. The contact wheel, this is actually a, a solid rubber wheel that I got from Harbor Freight for a little less than $7. It's not exactly flat. Uh, it wobbles a little bit from side to side. Not too bad and the wheel itself is not flat. Um, it's a little bit higher on this side than it is on this side and it's a little bit this shaped. But it works. This is actually what I use to tension the belt. I pull it forward, re remove all the tension, put the belt on, push it back, give it as much tension as I want. The tension arm, I've got the bolts in this forwardmost location for a reason. The tension on the belt isn't pulling this straight down. It's actually pulling it this way. Because this isn't really, a, it's not a great hinge, it's just a generic gate hinge. So, as I was applying tension to this and I was trying to adjust the tracking arm, I found it wasn't going straight up and down. It was like it was tilting quite a bit. I put the adjuster here, and that's to counteract the as you raise it up, it's counteracting the twisting. The arm for the, wor the workpiece to sit on, uh, it's actually adjustable. You just loosen this knob and it can move in and out, or I can just remove it all the way. Uh, this is the single nut holding the contact wheel on. Oh, one thing I noticed is smaller blades are much harder to use, to make, than bigger blades, because there's not a lot to hold on to. You have to actually use some locking players to hold on to it when you're grinding, and it just it makes the how you hold it so much different. So if you're going to start out, I would say start with a big honking blade, so that it's easy, so you can hold on to the whole thing the whole way through. You, you hold on to the handle, you hold on to the tip of the blade, you just work it all. It would be a lot easier to start with at least. Let's use this for the demo. This is uh, a failed attempt at a pallet fire harder thing. Uh, oak pallets are pretty tough items, so that's why I always cut my pallets apart. kind of worn. I've already used it for two knives. So it's a little worn. This is my and this is something I'm going to be working on. I'm going to make myself a marking knife. So I picked up an old an old saw blade. So I figured I would uh
this is the $25 treadmill I purchased off of Craigslist. I picked it specifically for that arm there. And tearing it apart, I realized that the arm isn't actually an electronic speed controller, it's a mechanical speed controller. Taking off the spindles that I got from the belt, I cut them up into individual cylinders. And turns out this would actually had a three-quarter horsepower motor attached to it, which is plenty. This is my initial build, hobbling everything together here. My initial assembly using the Harbor Freight contact wheel and the top tracking arm I didn't keep. This shows the new tracking arm. I'm using a belt that I just cut off from the treadmill as a sample. My initial project for this, I actually made a tracker out of a cleaver. Cut it out with an angle grinder. And finishing the shape using the grinder itself. And now I'm cutting the profile of the blade, the angle of the blade here. Now I'm just polishing it with my polishing belt. And I'm using some scales from Osage Orange with brass pins. Shaping it on the belt grinder. Final tracker knife for a Christmas giveaway at Bushcraft USA.